Hi everyone, we're coming in for the close. We're already at day 22 of Spellbinder's Crafty Advent Calendar. Today's Crafty Surprise is a beautiful shell pink confetti. It is gorgeous. So we're going to use it to make another shaker and I'm happy to work with BB's Delicate Snowflakes die set again. The snowflake shadow dies were used to cut gold glitter cardstock that was sized four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. The panel is lined up on black foam the same size. The dies are lined back up into the die cut openings and then I'll run it through the die cutter with the gold glitter on top of the foam. I did it this way because I knew that this cardstock was a little bit more difficult to die cut and I'd have to run it back and forth a couple of times and I didn't want excessive pressure placed on the black foam. I'm going to cut the detail of the snowflakes out of pink vellum paper. Snowflakes will be adhered to the acetate windows of the shaker. I'm just cutting down a double-sided adhesive sheet to the same size as the vellum panel. The backing paper is removed and then the vellum panel is adhered to it. Snowflake dies are then used to cut the vellum. When I'm ready to use them, I'll remove the backing paper and there will be a thin layer of adhesive on the back. There will be no messy liquid adhesive on the acetate or showing through the translucent snowflakes. And now I'm ready to start putting this shaker together. Liquid adhesive is placed on the back of the gold glitter cardstock panel. Although I am making sure that the liquid adhesive is applied around the shape of each of the snowflakes, I am leaving a little bit of room around that die cut edge so it will not ooze out onto the acetate. And then the acetate panel is laid on top of it. Don't want the adhesive to spread too much so I don't rub the panel, rather I just lay my hand on top so that there's good contact between the acetate and the back of the panel. Before adhering it to the foam, I first check around the edges of the panel to make sure there's no acetate showing. I didn't have any, but now would be a good time to trim that off. If the adhesive is applied to the foam, I make sure that there is good coverage around each of those snowflake shapes. When I lined up the panel to the foam, I was standing up so I'd be right over top of it. Again, I don't want that adhesive to spread out onto the acetate, so I simply lay it on top, and then I'll set my missy on top of it until the panel dries. I'm not sure exactly how long it took to dry, but I left it for about a half an hour, and then I took my large shears and went around the panel, removing the excess foam. Now I can go ahead and add the shaker material, which is of course today's beautiful iridescent pink confetti to each of the snowflake pockets. And I love the sound when there are seed beads added to a shaker. So I'll add these pretty gold ones in. So now I can go ahead and add the liquid adhesive to the foam and I'm making sure that I am being careful so that the shaker material does not come out of those snowflake pockets as I'm applying the glue. Again, I make sure that I'm going around each of those snowflake shapes. The shaker will be backed with a panel of black cardstock that again measures the same as the shaker, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Ensure that it is aligned, I get my head right in there, as you can see. Again, I'll pop my misty on top and let that adhesive dry. Now I'm ready to pop on the pretty vellum snowflakes onto the acetate windows. After the backing paper is removed, I basically have a sticker and I can center it in the middle of each of the snowflakes and then rub it down onto the acetate. These look so pretty because the snowflakes are translucent, you can still see that shaker material. 
I'm going to be adding in a very simple banner sentiment that comes from the pop-up snowflake die set. I'm adhering it with liquid adhesive and this little die cut has a tab because it is part of a pop-up feature. And when the glue is dry, I'll just trim that off. The confetti from today's reveal will be adhered to the center of each of the snowflakes. And then this independent shaker can be adhered to an A2 sized card base. Again, I'll pop my Misty on top to let that adhesive dry completely. And then all of the confetti is going to be finished off with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. And there it is, a pretty winter greeting card with a delicate shaker element. That completes day 22 of Spellbinder's Crafty Advent Calendar. Stay tuned for day 23. It is a pretty one. And as always, I appreciate your visit.